Hello guys, uh, welcome to another edition, LX project. I want to show you how I managed to do the tax, the application server. Okay, so the first step, you make sure that uh, you install your, your, your web server one and the other server, even though we're not going to be touching the other servers, we are, we are going to be working only on the web server one. So, in the first start, set up a development with Python, which means that create, up, create a virtual environment. Let's save what you build in a ABMB clone 2. Web frame, okay. That it shows that it tells you that uh, your web zero one has to be connected by the SSH project that we did, which has a the public key. As the checker will not be able to check your project, so it is something that we have done to. Yeah, for the past project, okay. So for the tax three, that with the past project. So if you don't know, if you don't know how to do it, uh, copy this public key and paste it uh, in your authorized key. Then you'll be connected SSH so that uh, the server will be able to. The checker will be able, able to check your work. Okay. So, without wasting much of the time, let's just start. I've already done it, so most of the time I'll just be showing the, the direction. Okay. So, this is my program, which is working. You can see it's running. Uh, Control C. Okay, I just log out of the server, which is good. So, these are my servers, Web01, 02, and uh, that, they're working on Web01. So, we log into the server, Web01. So, I'm in. There the screen. So I've done it already, but I'll just show you the process. Okay. So the first thing you have to do, you have to go to this project in GitHub, Airbnb clone, Airbnb clone version 2. You have to, uh, you have to clone it. So you know how to do cloning, to do clone, do git, clone, you paste the link. Since I've done it already, it's left for me to do it. So uh, the second step, we have to create a working environment, which is a virtual environment. Yeah. So to create a virtual environment, we we'll do Python, Python 3, VNV, it means virtual environment. You can give a virtual environment any name that you want. Okay. As you can see, I've already created my own. I give my name LX. That's the name I give mine. But you can give whatever name that you want. Okay. So you can just call it whatever you can call it test or whatever you can call it test AVMV you can call it test okay, so 
Okay, I'm still there. Oh, sorry. Minus M. Python. Python 3. Minus M. B M V. V. Call it test. Okay. So if we do LX, it has already created the virtual environment, which is test. You can see test has been created. So now you have to activate the test. I'm just showing how to create a virtual environment, but if I want to work, I will go back to my, the one that I've done already. Okay. So you have to activate your virtual environment. To activate the environment, you say source test. Slash bin slash activate. You can see my virtual environment has been created. Okay, this is the how to create a virtual environment. But now I have to log to the one that I've been I'm doing the tags. Okay, so you can just do that. I can just deactivate this. It has been deactivated. So now let me navigate on to the one that my tags are. So I'll just say that source LX slash bin slash activate. Okay, you can see now I'm not in my virtual environment. Okay, in your virtual environment, the next step to do, you you seed into Airbnb clone 2. That is where you have the project that you're working on. You have the web development, uh, the web frame, and the web flags and web static. All those, all those files are there. So you seed it now into to that. You can you can clear the screen for now. So if you do LX, you see all the the the, the files that we work on. So we'll be working on on the web flags folder. Okay. So you see the into web flags folder. Okay, from here you can you can uh, install your flags. You do pip install flags. I've done that already, so it will show that it has been certified already. I've done that already. So after I install your flag, let me clear the screen. I see it into. Okay, okay now I'm now into web flags. Okay, this is where something is very important. So they say that we have to configure. Let me show, show something. We have to configure this file. Zero dash hello underscore root pi. This file, we have to configure it in such a way that it will be able to read the file of the A, B, and B one page okay so configure the, f the web flags hello that dot pi to save a content from the root dash okay on port 5000 so what we do here we have to do what we call render template so when you do lx these are the five Okay, and for this file, since I've done it already, for this file, this is the file we have to configure, and this is the template. If you do this template, if you do seed into the template, you will see all the HTML files of the A V and B. So you can take any one of them. You can just take any one of them to work on. Okay, so. Let me go back to the, the web flags. Okay. So, 
you can open this file by vi vim or nano or you use uh, a mac whatever editor that suits you so since i have already done it uh let me just do cast so that it will be in the read form okay so these are the portions you have to add you have to put comma render template because it's the same file that we have to work on okay so you see that from flux import flux then you put render template you have to give an app name which is that we know all the steps so yeah you say return render template then you copy one of the html file of the airbnb inside the template inside the template you can you can choose any of them you put it here then it has to run on port 5000 okay now I mean, in most of the cases when you want to run a port that is running already it will tell you that the port is running already so you need to key the process so let me just clear the screen and let's try to run this this program so if we see that python this is our run flags python that okay it will it, it tell us that the address is in use already so you have to key the process okay so that you'll be able to restart the server so to key the process or uh, there's this command you use this command i got it by chat gpt i think it's very very helpful okay so you you have to put this command which is you put for five thousand so do I let of minus on that you press enter so it will show you the PID okay this identification this, this is the PID that is running that process so you copy this you do sudo okay you say kill you put the PID okay now it has key that process so if we run it again okay it shows that the process has been killed okay so we can just do our python let me just copy i don't want the video to be too long can you do our python okay so now it's running okay so that's about the tax one okay so if you follow this step you're going to do exactly and you're going to win the way it is now so i'll proceed now to the next tax i'll just pause the video now then i'll, I'll come back when i'm done with it thank you